Alright, it's February 1st, 2020, and it's gonna like, get an uh, update on the bamboos, the bamboo solacos. And it looks like this big one, like the top few nodes, probably like top three nodes, have completely dried up and it's lost about more than half of the leaves, maybe about like 60%. But whatever was left on seems to be doing alright. Basically, all these leaves went off in the, la in the first two weeks. But the ones remaining, looks like they're doing alright and the one thing that's pretty good is I'm getting all this new leaf bud elongation. Like there's a whole lot of it forming like on the lower nodes, like uh, mostly on this one. It seems like the high ones don't have a whole lot of elongation, there's some. This one, this is a high node, it has some elongated buds, and this one just has a little bit. Because it seems like it requires leaf, like it requires leaves to actually dry energy in, and when the energy goes down, it goes into these leaf nodes which swell, and they elongate. So, when it goes down here, it can also cause these dormant buds, which actually use uh, cakey paste, which has cytokinin, which is a growth auxin. And I guess it keeps on going down further and it's even causing some of these branch buds to activate. And this is about as low as it's gotten. And I've also applied cytokinin to these. Yep, right here. It's pretty tough to focus, but right here, this is the lowest one, so if it branches all the way down to here, which is literally about two feet up on the comb, that'd be pretty cool. And this is exactly a month ago. This was a four foot tall shoot that I basically cut in half. Here I see some of the remaining pieces that I haven't rotted away completely yet, and they've branched out. And on these, I've pulled off a couple of sheaths just to expose some more branches. But it looks like it's a little bit soft here, but yeah, it'd be all right. It's just, just gonna be a little bit crooked, and this will probably compensate by straightening back up upwards. But yeah, I just want to expose some more leaf buds and make this a really bushy plant. And as you see, these branches are well longer than my hand, which is about eight inches long. So it's almost a foot long for this top branch. But there's like nine little branchlets coming off of this and all along the, the, this comb. It's gonna produce more branches. So it's gonna produce a whole lot of leaf mass. I don't really expect any shoots to come out of the bottom yet, but give it till March and I'll probably start getting some shoots, which are probably going to be bigger than this one depending on how big they get. This is the Bambusa vulgar swamin, which is going to be a really bushy plant in another month because it's got so many branches. And here are my other ones, other Bambusa lacos. This is uh, all the piece that was with that one pot that was divided up. And this is developing some leaf buds here. Got some nice foliage. This one actually didn't really have much dieback at all because it wasn't really attached to that uh, new comb that was forming. But it is logging, getting some more leaf buds all throughout here. Uh, one really good development I have is in my air layer, it's actually grown a shoot out of here. It's pretty tough to tell, but yeah, it's definitely coming out. It hit the top of the plastic and actually started turning white, but it should be fine. I think it was probably just the heat that caused that, and it's actually growing out of here now, so that's pretty cool. I don't see any roots at the bottom yet, but once the shoot actually grows up, I should start getting roots. Yeah, the, the bottom of here, once it actually fills up with roots, I should be able to cut this off. 
That's pretty cool. So this is literally only 10 leaves. And it's generally a shoot within a month of being grown. So this entire plant has a lot more leaves than that. Probably has like 50 leaves. And here's my final one. Hasn't caused any shoots out of earlier yet, but there's definitely leaf buds. And my Dendrocalamus cynicus was also planted in the ground about, yeah, literally exactly one month ago on January 1st. And right now it's actually, hasn't really gotten much taller, but the shoots had really bushed out. It's gotten a lot more foliage and they've actually gotten longer. It seems like the leaves, they've gotten darker and more full. But the only new growth that has actually happened is this shoot right here. It's about two and a half feet tall, 30 inches. And it's not necessarily all that big either. It's about the same size as all the rest. But here's actually one of my air layers, which, yeah, I want to create some more Cynicus propagules. But as you see, the overall mass of this plant is pretty impressive. So, once I actually guys this plant of energy, I'm expecting another month or two, it's gonna start shooting some one inches, maybe even bigger. Because that's what I've usually seen. Once I actually get set into the ground, they take off like crazy. Just comparing it to some of my potted plants, this is my other Cynicus, which is on pot, and they're doing not nearly as well. As you see, the leaves are lighter. They don't look quite as vigorous. Only stress for water. They tend to curl the leaves a little bit. And yeah, they just don't look quite as healthy as the one in the ground. But that's going to be expected. Once they go in the ground, they get so much more room to roam. And just look at some of my cuttings. So as my cuttings go, I'm only getting some leaf bud elongation. Oh, this is a uh, Bambusa Laco. Not sure if you can tell, but yeah, on that like little green branch, one of those buds is starting to elongate a little bit. But I'm not really sure if these are going to take or not. There's hardly any real signs of solid growth, but I'm well, not completely drying up either yet, so. It's been about three or four weeks for these guys, so I'll leave them alone and see what happens. But it's been about a week and a half for my Bambusa vulgaris uh, woman ones, and they've actually grown even better leaf buds, so this is definitely new growth. It looks like generally the younger branches are the ones that are doing the best. As you see, so many of them are elongating, so... Yeah, it seems like Bambufusa of Ogres Woman has a better chance. But, like the older ones that don't really have very much young combs, doesn't look like they have that good of a chance. But I have some in the water. They seem to have like the best leaves. These are actually Gigantic Lova Atrova Sierra or Devil Black. And here's the Buddha Belly. Not really seeing too much growth, but I'll just leave them alone and see if they actually sprout in water. But here are some of my Java Black bamboos. Actually, I applied some. Rope proof anti desiccant, and it seems like you know, these are still curling a little bit, but 
I'll see what happens. Still have a chance. It's been about three days. Like the top of this actually gotten a little bit greener. So I'm not really sure if these have a chance. These are actually rising bulbs. Even this one too. Like the top of that turned a little greener. But this one actually just fell off. So, I'm not going to serve them. But right here, I've actually seen this bulging out a little bit. This was completely flat when I actually got it out, but as you can see, it's actually bulged out clearly, which is my Java Black shoot on here. So, that's pretty interesting. And so is this one. So, pretty sure it's gonna form some branches though. I may even be able to get more plants off of here. And there's actually a shoot coming off of this one somewhere around here, but I'm not going to dig under here. But these root buds have actually bulged out a little bit too, so looking at the top of the branches, they're actually looking really good, and even these have started to open up a little bit, so. Yeah, even that one, it definitely wasn't open up when I got it, so... Yeah, it's actually starting to grow again. When I actually dug this three days ago. So... There's the Java Black Bamboo. And my ventricosas are definitely well leafed out now. Yeah, it's my bamboo collection so far.